Hello and welcome to the STM32L4 MOOC online training. My name is Andre Barata and this is the second part of the USB dedicated session. USB session was split in two. The first one regarding the human interface class or HAD and this one will be about the USB communications device class or CST class. In case you want to have access to the theory introduction about USB, I would recommend you to start on the first USB session. In this session we will learn how to use the USB STC class which will allow us to exchange communication message between our Discovery L4 board and another USB device, which in our case will be a computer. The objective of this hands-on is to learn how to properly set up the USB CDC class on STM32 CubeMX. We will also learn how to properly set up the USB clock as the peripheral uses the MSI clock source at 48 MHz, which lacks in accuracy, to improve it we will use the LSE to trim it. The main goal of this session is to create a bidirectional connection using the virtual COM port on the STM32L4 discovery board, and then exchange message between the board and the computer. As always, we will configure all peripherals and generate code with the STM32 CubeMX. Let's now open the STM32 CubeMX to get started on our hands-on. As a first step, we will click on New Project and on the New Window, we will type our part number, STM32L476VG. We will double-click on our part and we will start a new project. On the peripheral tree, we will scroll down and on the USB OTGFS, we will change the mode to device only. As a result, two pins will light up in green, PA11 and PA12, which are the communication lines. Then we will scroll up to the middleware subtree and we will look for the USB device. We change the class to communication device class, which refers to the virtual COM port. To finalize this step, we will go to the RCC and we will enable and select Crystal Ceramic Resonator. As a result, two other pins will become green, PC13 and PC14. Now we will change to the clock tab. To be in line with the recent configurations, we will, will manually change the MSI clock from 4 to 48 MHz and the, in the USB clock tree we will select MSI as clock source. Now we proceed to the configuration tab and we will select USB. We will go to the VBUS sensing feature and as this one is not implemented on the L4 discovery board, it needs to be disabled. Then we open the RCC tab and we make sure that the MSI auto calibration is enabled. We press OK and all the changes will be set. At this point we are ready to save our project and generate our code. Do never forget to select the system workbench for STM32 as your chosen IDE. We will press OK, we generate our code and we will open now the system workbench for STM32. After our project is generated, we will open it and we will go to our main.c file. As a first step, we need to create two buffers, one to transmit data and the other to receive data from an USB device. So for transmitting data, we create a TX user buffer with 2048 bytes, which is the maximum supported length by the STM32L4 virtual COM port. We fill the buffer with a test message, which in our case will be the ASCII representation for STM32. 
The second buffer will be the RX user buffer with the same length and we will leave it empty as we are expecting to receive data from a USB device or in this case from our computer. Now we will scroll down to the while when loop. Inside of it we will implement periodical transmissions of data. For this purpose we will use the HL function USPD CDC set TX buffer, which the arguments are. The first one is the USB device handler, the second is the user TX buffer, and the third is the length of the buffer, which in our case will be 6. After the configuration is performed, we will call the transmission function, which is the USPD CDC transmit packet. The argument of this function will be solely the USB device handler. And now we will include some delay to prevent the overflow of data on the receiving side. So this means that we will have an implementation that sends 6 bytes over the course of half a second. And to implement data reception we will go to the uspd.cdc.it.c file and to increase the visibility of the user RX buffer we will need to retype it here as extern. Now we go to the function which is the handler for the receiving messages interrupt. In this function we will make a copy of the receiving content to the user RX buffer in order to be able to see it on debug mode. To do so we will use the string copy function to copy the content from the local buffer to the global one. We will build the project and enter debug mode. We, we cannot forget to connect the USB micro cable to the port located in the lower part of the board. After entering debug mode we need to open a serial terminal and we will press resume on our application. With the serial terminal open we will select USB protocol and we will start receiving on our computer the test message sent by the L4 discovery board. And now to test the USB reception we will type a test message in our terminal and in this case we will type the word test. And now we press to send. We will add the user RX buffer to our monitoring expressions. And after pausing the execution of the program, if we inspect the variable, we are supposed to see the, the test word received by the buffer. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this hands-on.